now that we have our model created, we will continue by adding additional design alternatives to our PAT project. Design alternatives are a powerful feature of PAT that allows us to compare options before we decide what the best option might be for you or your client. Our first design alternative will be considered the base case, our model as it is. Our second design alternative will represent a change that is similar to the base case, except replacing the wall insulation measure value with the R40 option. Our third design alternative will be the same as design alternative two, except replacing it with an R50 wall option. Arranging design alternatives can be as simple as duplicating alternatives to making changes or creating one de design alternative for each measure option. Let's continue to make a few more design alternatives. Design alternative number four will be the same as the base case, except having the 3.5 foot heights for the thermostat and com comfort controls. Design alternative five will be the same as design alternative four, except having the 4.5 foot comfort controls. Design alternative six will combine design alternative two and design alternative four. Design alternative seven will combine an R50 wall with a 4.5 foot height of the sensors for comfort and thermostat controls and on and on. So users again have complete control over arranging the measure options, creating a unique simulation, what we call data point. Optional descriptions can be entered for each unique data point as well as optional names. When reviewing the structure, you can also see that a design alternative can be defined as a separate OpenStudio model. In other words, multiple seed models can be loaded into your PAT project and chosen for each re representative row of an individual design alternative. This flexible structure allows OpenStudio users to carefully substitute modified OpenStudio models in place of measures to support analysis where a measure is not available. The PAT manual mode does not use the outputs tab in the PAT workflow. Moving on to the run tab, we see that a local server has been started on our local machine and is operational. Users can confirm the local server status again under server tools, ping server and set status. Users can also start and stop the local server. Once a local server has been started on your computer, the best practice is to name an analysis, lock the name, and then run either the entire workflow, all specified data points, or select one or more data points and run selected data points. In this example, we will run the entire workflow. We are now seeing Pat send the design alternatives to our local server, starting the analysis run. The simulations are occurring in parallel on our machines with an N minus one number of cores being used simultaneously. The machine I'm working on today has eight cores and there are seven individual data points. So all seven data points are running in parallel. I will pause this video while the simulations complete. While the simulations are executing, users can view the simulations on the local server. They simply maneuver to the project, then the analysis within the project, and we can see that we have seven simulations all running simultaneously. The simulations will not all finish at the same time. Some of them will be simpler than others. Some of them will be more complex, but we will see information again as the simulations begin to complete. The end time will be populated and the delta time for each simulation will be populated. Users can again return to the PAT UI and see that same information coming back to the PAT user interface as well. We can see now that the simulations have completed 
and Pat has returned a status of completed success. We can also see that the simulation is completed with zero warnings and zero errors. For each data point, we can also, through the PAT user interface, download reports, the Open Studio results report, the Energy Plus report. We can also download the Open Studio model, or we can download a zip file containing the Open Studio model and a collection of the reports. Within each of the data points, we can explode the accordions to see the detail of each measure. So we can see that for this data point, the first measure that was run was insulating the walls to R40, finished with zero not applicable messages and zero warning messages. We then applied the change overhead ventilation displacement ventilation measure with zero non applicable messages and zero warnings. Finally, we applied the Open Studio results measure again with zero non applicable messages and zero warnings. PAT users can also maneuver to the local server to retrieve similar information simply by going to Server Tools, View Local Server, View the project, View the analysis within the project, and then view a data point within the analysis. Within each data point, PAT users can, through the Open Studio Local Server Cloud Management Console, view the same information, the Energy Plus results report, the Open Studio results report, the Open Studio model used to generate the report, and a zip file of this information. Finally, in the PAT user interface, PAT users can maneuver to the results screen. Under the reports tab for PAT exists a number of canned summary reports. For example, the summary table report, or the end use comparison report, or the EDAPT export report. These reports come shipped with PAT and can be useful again for comparing data points to one another. The EDAPT export PAT project measure is a useful measure for generating an XML file that can contain information related to one or more of the data points in your PAT project. This XML file is useful for machine to machine communication. This concludes our example video describing how PAT can be used to conduct a simulation study while in manual mode. To learn more about exploring larger parameter spaces or other use cases such as model calibration, users should be aware that PAT can also be run in algorithmic mode. Users can download fully functional sample PAT projects, including examples of models and projects being run in algorithmic mode from NREL's Parametric Analysis Tool repository. Now that you know how to use the Parametric Analysis Tool to perform simulation studies, you can leverage the power of your Open Studio models and your Open Studio measures.